When people think of crude oil, the first thing that usually comes to mind is gasoline, the fuel that powers our cars, trucks, and motorcycles. It's easy to make that association since gas stations dominate city corners, and most of us depend on gasoline to get from one place to another. But crude oil's story goes far beyond just fueling our vehicles. In fact, gasoline is just one small slice of a massive pie. Crude oil is a complex mixture of hydrocarbons, and through a process known as refining, it is separated into a wide variety of products that infiltrate nearly every corner of modern life. In today's video, we'll explore the surprising, often overlooked products made from crude oil, items you likely use every day without realizing they came from deep beneath the Earth's surface, right here on History of Simple Things. Let's start with something we all wear, synthetic fabrics. Many of the clothes in your closet are made using materials derived from crude oil. Polyester, nylon, spandex, and acrylic are all synthetic fibers created using petrochemicals. Polyester, one of the most common fabrics in the world, is essentially a plastic made from petroleum. It's used in everything from shirts to backpacks to upholstery. Nylon, originally developed as a silk substitute, is found in stockings, jackets, and even parachutes. These materials are lightweight, durable, and resistant to shrinking, which makes them ideal for modern fashion and utility applications. The next time you pick up a fleece sweater or slip into your yoga pants, remember that you're wearing the byproducts of crude oil. Now let's take a look inside your home. From the kitchen to the bathroom, crude oil has a footprint everywhere. Plastic is perhaps the most ubiquitous petroleum-based product we encounter daily. Everything from your water bottles, food containers, and kitchen utensils to the insulation in your refrigerator contains plastics derived from the crude oil. Polyethylene, polypropylene, PVC, and polystyrene are all plastics made from petrochemical feedstocks. Think about your toothbrush, your shampoo bottle, your dish soap container. These are all everyday examples of petroleum's reach into domestic life. And it doesn't stop there. Cleaning products like detergents, solvents, and floor cleaners also rely on petrochemical ingredients to boost performance, preserve shelf life, and stabilize formulations. Even the world of personal care and cosmetics is deeply intertwined with crude oil. Many lotions, creams, lip balms, and shampoos contain ingredients like mineral oil, petroleum jelly, such as Vaseline, and paraffin wax, which are all derived from petroleum. These ingredients serve to moisturize, protect, and preserve skin and hair. Perfumes and fragrances also often use synthetic scents that originate from crude oil derivatives. Without petrochemicals, the range of affordable, mass-produced beauty products we enjoy today would be greatly diminished. Let's not forget the importance of pharmaceuticals. While it might seem counterintuitive, many of the medications we rely on to stay healthy are made using petrochemical ingredients. Crude oil serves as a raw material for producing chemical intermediates used in pain relievers like aspirin and ibuprofen, as well as antibiotics, antihistamines, and even cancer treatment drugs. The pharmaceutical industry depends on petrochemicals not just for active drug compounds, but also for binders, coatings, and capsules. In addition, many medical supplies like IV bags, syringes, surgical gloves, and tubing are made from plastic polymers derived from oil. So while crude oil may fuel our cars, it also plays a quiet but critical role in saving lives. Transportation is another major area where crude oil shows its versatility beyond gasoline. Diesel fuel and jet fuel are both direct products of the refining process. 
diesel powers trucks, buses, trains, and industrial machinery, while jet fuel keeps commercial and military aircraft in the skies. But beyond these fuels, oil-derived products like lubricants, motor oil, brake fluid, and transmission fluid are essential for keeping all kinds of vehicles and mechanical systems running smoothly. Even tires contain synthetic rubber and additives made from petroleum derivatives, showing once again that crude oil is involved in more than just what's in the gas tank. Now consider the world of agriculture. Fertilizers, pesticides, and herbicides often rely on ammonia and other petrochemical-based compounds to enhance crop yield and manage pests. These products have revolutionized farming, enabling higher productivity and food security for millions around the globe. The plastic films used to cover greenhouses, irrigation piping, seed coatings, and even the fuel-powering tractors and harvesters all have roots in petroleum. So crude oil isn't just behind the wheel, it's also behind the food we eat. If you're into technology, crude oil has touched that world too. Modern electronics are full of plastics and synthetic resins made from petroleum. The casing of your smartphone, your laptop keyboard, your TV remote, the wiring insulation, and the circuit board substrates are all created using materials that originated from crude oil. Even the adhesives used in assembling electronics and the protective coatings that guard them against wear and tear often contain petrochemical components. The sleek, lightweight, high-performing gadgets we've come to rely on would not be possible without oil-derived materials. Even in the world of recreation and sports, crude oil makes a quiet appearance. Footballs, sneakers, gym mats, tennis racket grips, ski boots, bicycles, and even the turf on which athletes play can all contain plastics or synthetic rubbers made from petroleum. Outdoor gear such as tents, sleeping bags, waterproof jackets, and surfboards also use oil-based materials to achieve the durability and weather resistance that nature demands. And lastly, let's talk about something that often goes unnoticed, roads and infrastructure. Asphalt, the black sticky material used to pave roads, driveways, and parking lots, is a residual product of crude oil refining. It's essentially what's left after lighter hydrocarbons like gasoline and diesel are extracted. Without crude oil, we wouldn't have the smooth highways that connect cities, or the rooftops made with asphalt shingles that keep our homes dry. Crude oil is much more than just the fuel you pump into your car. It's the backbone of countless products and industries that define modern life. From the clothes we wear, the food we eat, the homes we live in, the medicine we rely on, to the gadgets we can't put down, petroleum is at the core. Understanding its vast impact helps us appreciate the material world around us, while also raising important questions about sustainability, resource management, and our future beyond fossil fuels. So the next time you think of crude oil, remember, it's not just powering engines, it's powering everything. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.